great occurrences have determined life on Earth. And once again, great occurrences are about to take place. Ancient myths and modern science predict an extraordinary event. This is the great transit of our mind to a hyperdimensional space. I am convinced that a change will come about in 2012, but the question is, when is 2012? We're all, you know, kind of living in apocalyptic time right now because it's being, you know, mediated by some, uh, you know, chemical substance. When you have a geomagnetic storm, you can get microstructural changes within the brain tissue itself, which means the entire species, in fact, every living thing on this planet could be altered. And that's really what the, from my perspective, the planetary shift that we're going through is all about. It's an increase in consciousness. Now, at last, people are looking at this and realizing we know almost nothing about the nature of our own minds and how they relate to our brain. Heraclitus proclaimed that there are three states of being. Man is aware of only two, the sleeping and waking states. The state of full consciousness, however, still remains elusive. Klimawandel, climate change, overpopulation, food shortages, economic problems, natural resources plundered, and on and on. I don't think we can go ahead at that speed with the old system. We just, we will burn to a frazzle. Human beings are remarkably resourceful. When we're anxious, we do a lot of positive things. Margaret Mead said, it only takes a few good people with a like vision to change the model of what people believe. And I actually don't think it takes that many, but they have to be coherent. 